Hi, I'm Matilda and I am a certified clinical aromatherapist. I'm also a trainer of internationally accredited aromatherapy courses. So if you would like to pursue aromatherapy professionally or would like to deepen your knowledge in this area, do check out my link in the description down below to find out more information on the courses that I teach. This channel is set up to empower women in health and wealth. So if you are interested in the topics that I am sharing, do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of all future videos. Do you know that aromatherapy dates back to prehistoric times where plants and herbs have been used for centuries by civilizations for medicinal, culinary, and cosmetic purposes? The Egyptians used plant resins and oils during the mummification process like myrrh for embalming. This shows that essential oils have been used as a natural preservative and can last for ages. Jars of frankincense oil have also been found in tombs to still be in good condition. Although essential oils don't turn bad the way food do or turn rancid like vegetable oils, they do change over time if not handled properly and their lifespan depends on several factors including the distillation method, purity of the essential oils, oxygen, heat and light exposure. Watch on to learn what are the top 5 tips to prolong your essential oils and how you can use them for as long as possible. If you like this video that you're watching, I would appreciate it greatly if you could smash the like button and share it with your friends. So that we can educate more people on the benefits of essential oils and how to extend their shelf life. While there are several methods to distill essential oils, here are the 3 most common methods which is the steam distillation, cold press method as well as solvent extraction. Steam distillation is the most commonly used method for producing essential oils. Using this method, plant material is placed in a large container where steam vaporizes the plant material's volatile compounds, which eventually go through a condensation and collection process. This is the preferred method in producing essential oils because it yields clean and pure oils. Depending on the oil to be produced, time, temperature, and pressure must be controlled accordingly to ensure that it is quality oil retaining all the constituents. Therapeutic quality oils are produced using low temperature and pressure so that the molecular structure of aromatic molecules are not distorted to retain the oil's chemical constituents. This is a difference between therapeutic quality essential oils and those that are not. There could be oils labeled as organic or pure or natural, but if they are distilled with high temperature and high pressure to increase the yields of producing the oils in a shorter period of time, they are not going to give you much medicinal value as they have lost most of the valuable chemical constituents in the oil during the process. It's just like slow cooked stew versus stew cooked over high fire. I think you know what I mean. As for the cold press method, this is usually the method used for citrus fruit peels. Using this method, the peel of the fruit or plant material is subjected to pressure to squeeze out the juice or oil. This method can be used on lemons, limes, grapefruits, oranges, and tangerines, amongst others in the Rutasia family. As for solvent extraction, this method employs food-grade solvents like hexane and ethanol to isolate essential oils from plant material. It is best suited for plant materials that yield low amount of essential oil that are largely resinous or that are delicate aromatics unable to withstand the pressure and distress of steam distillation such as jasmine and neroli. This method also produces a finer fragrance than any type of distillation method and commonly used in perfumes by the perfume industry or for aromatherapy purposes. Essential oils produced via solvent extraction should never be ingested as they are mixed with alcohol during the extraction process. For those of you who are using the best grade of therapeutic essential oils, you will realize that most of the essential oils are produced via steam distillation, with the exception of citrus peel oils that are distilled by the cold press method, whereas jasmine and neroli are produced by solvent extraction. Generally, essential oils produced via the steam distillation method last the longest and can possibly last for decades or even centuries when stored properly and unadulterated like the frankincense oil found in the Egyptian tombs. For citrus oils, when they are opened, they oxidize a lot faster as they are very volatile. Hence, I'd advise you to use them within a year after you have opened the bottle. When unopened, you can use them within 2-3 to three years if they are stored in a cool and dark area. As for the purity of oils, single oils that are produced via steam distillation and are stored properly can last for decades or even centuries as mentioned earlier if they are totally pure and unadulterated. Blends containing a mixture of different essential oils, especially if they contain citrus oils or any of the oils extracted via solvent extraction, may not last as long. Also, if they contain carrier oils, I'd suggest you use them within one year as some carrier oils can turn rancid pretty soon. 
Depending on what carrier oil has been added to the blend, the lifespan may be even shorter. Grapeseed oil has a short lifespan of three months to six months, whereas coconut oil, hazelnut oil, jojoba oil have very long shelf life. Three everyday forces that greatly impact the shelf life of essential oils are oxygen, heat, and light, with oxygen being the biggest contributing factor to oxidation, since oxidation can't happen without oxygen. Oxygen exposure can be reduced by ensuring you recap your essential oil bottles tightly and quickly. Don't let your bottle sit open for too long. This allows oxygen to penetrate the bottle and increase the rate of oxidation. A pro tip to consider is decanting your oils into smaller bottles as needed. If you buy a 15ml bottle of essential oil, consider pouring some into a smaller size bottle or even better, replace the dripper orifice with a roller cap. I like using roll-ons as this minimizes the exposure to oxygen. Hence, when I apply it on my skin, I can use a roll-on and the oil in the original bottle with the dripper orifice, I'll use it when I need to drip oils into my diffuser. Next will be heat exposure. Heat exposure can be reduced by keeping your essential oils in a cool place. The essential oils are best kept at room temperature and should never ever be burnt. When you heat the essential oils over open fire, their properties change. Just like food, when we eat raw bananas versus if we eat deep fried bananas. When we eat many raw bananas, we experience bowel movement. However, if we eat too many deep fried bananas, like goreng pisang, we get constipated. So, never heat your essential oils over open fire or with candles. True essential oils are never burnt. We always diffuse them with cold air diffuser. Last but not least, we also need to take note of light exposure. Naturally, the way to reduce light exposure is to keep essential oils stored in a dark colored bottle and keep them in a dark cool place. For me, I store my essential oils in essential oil storage bags and boxes. You may also store them in a dark and cool place like a cabinet. If you'd like to read up more on the chemistry of essential oils and how to practice aromatherapy professionally, there are links to some really good books on essential oils in the description down below that I have provided. If you like what I have just shared, do smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of all future videos. That's all I have to share today, and um, I really appreciate you being here today. So if you like this video, do smash the like button and share it with your friends. Have a good day and a great week ahead, and don't forget to check out my other videos.